Now, before starting the video, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video keys fan. Keysfan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in a simple and reliable way. You can quickly activate software like Windows and Microsoft Office using these 100% official keys, which are fully compatible with online activation. Moreover, they provide lifetime after-sales support along with 24 by 7 customer service. Right now, their software super deals are live, so don't miss out. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices with Keysfan. Simply add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG50. 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundles with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for more details. What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. And in today's video, I'm taking a look at a brand new Windows and Linux emulator for Android called XO Dose Emulator. An all-in-one powerhouse that just might change how you use your device. Now Zodos isn't your typical emulator. It combines Termux, Termux X11, Wine, Bionic, and even a proper Linux OS, all packed into a single setup for your Android phone. That means you can run both Windows applications and full Linux environments right on your device without root. There are many emulators out there, but Zodos stands out with full customization. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up Exodos step-by-step, go through the best settings for smoother performance, test a few games and apps, and by the end, I'll tell you whether it's worth switching to Xodos or if you should stick with WinLater or GameHub Emulator. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We're getting really close to 100K and every single sub counts. Now let's get started. So here I have already downloaded the package. Let's install it. Also, make a note that it says security risks detected by the device security. Also, note that this is an experimental test video, so let's proceed. All right, it's installed. Let's open Exodo Simulator. Allow permission access. It starts to install the Exodo system. After installation, relaunch it again. Now first, go to Preferences. It feels more like the Termux X11 base. In Display Resolution Mode, set it to Exact. Set the resolution to 720p or lower. Here, enable the Float Ball menu. With this, you can access multiple functions like Terminal, Task Manager, Keyboard, Mouse, and more. Also, enable Stretch to Fit Display. That's it. These are the settings. Now tap on Start. And here you can see this emulator offers a lot of features like AI, XO Dose, Kali Linux, you can boot Wine based on both Bionic and Glibc versions, Xbox, and more. That's pretty cool. It's all in one. And here's the main part. Let's boot the Xodos desktop. It runs on a traditional Termux-based system, including the full desktop interface and everything. And there we go. We're on the user interface, and it kind of feels Linux-based. Of course, it is. Like if Windows and Linux had a kid, this is how it would feel. If we go to the Start menu, we have a lot of options and apps. The file manager feels just like Linux, and even the regular Firefox browser works fine. Now let's test Direct3D. All right, so you can see it starts to configure Wine. As we know, that allows us to emulate Windows files. And if we go into Settings, there are a lot of custom options. You can configure Wine, Glibc, and Bionic settings, and VirGL. You can even update the Mesa Turnip drivers from here. All right, it's working on the DXVK Turnip driver. Now let's test a Windows game and see if it really works or not. Here, I'll install some drivers required for the game. This is Stray for PC, a DirectX 12 based title. As you can see, it's not loading, guys. Not working at all. Also, one more thing. With the floating ball, you can access the terminal and other functions like the task manager. It looks similar to how it is in Wine or WinLater. Overall, the Exodus emulator is good, but it's not as stable as WinLater or GameFusion yet. However, it offers great customization and comes with a Linux core integrated with multiple advanced features. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to us for more. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.